Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here from blogtree.com. Please like this video if you find it useful and subscribe to Blog to Read videos on YouTube. This is a review of the Ralph Lauren Stirrup Large Chronograph. This is a, one of the flagship models of the new Ralph Lauren watch collection. Um, and it has a very iconic shape and it's called the stirrup because it is meant to look like a horse riding stirrup, as you can see. To my knowledge, this type of, um, I like to also call it a bell shape, has not really been done before in a timepiece, and I think that Ralph Lauren was really interested in trying to have a unique look um, for their watches. When they debuted, they had the stirrup, um, a watch called the Sporting, I believe, and the uh, Classic Slim, or Slim Classic, I can never remember which. Um, and they're very elegant models, um, but this one was probably the most uh, distinctive because of the shape. Um, this is a large model. This is as big as it gets right now, um, and you could consider this a men's model. There's smaller ones, and this particular version, um, is, like I said, is the chronograph, and it comes in an 18 karat yellow go uh, rose gold case. The case is highly polished all around, and as you can see, um, the way it's attached to this uh, boon style strap is different. So here you have um, this large kind of lug and it kind of slopes down very quickly and then the, the strap actually connects at the bottom there and then over here, um, similar. So when you wear it, it's going to be very comfortable because you don't have um, any type of awkwardness in the shape even though the lugs attach at different points. Ralph Lauren watches came about um, a couple years ago as a collaboration with the Richemont Group which produces a lot of high-end watches. Um, they have brands like Cartier and Piaget and Montblanc um, and a lot of other even much higher end brands. Uh, they wanted to work with Richemont because they wanted to have not just a regular sort of fashion watch brand but a really high end watch that would go with um, some of Ralph Lauren's highest end um, clothes collection. So, you know, this is a high-end watch. This is not what you consider sort of a, you know, department store um, inexpensive watch. Inside of the watch, and part of the legitimizing factor of these timepieces, um, are movements produced by companies which make movements. So, for example, in this watch is a Jaeger Lecoultre um, automatic chronograph movement, which Ralph Lauren calls their uh, Ralph Lauren Caliber 750. Um, it has a two-day power reserve um, and a chronograph complication in addition to the time. Very smooth operating movement and I think it was very clever of Ralph Lauren to be very straightforward with um, the fact that there's other people making their movements and who those people are. I think it adds benefit and value to these watches because you have prestigious brands such as Jaeger Lecoultre, IWC, and Piaget producing movements for the Ralph Lauren watches. This model, well the, the, the stirrup collection has a few different ones. There's a world time one as well, but I like the chronograph the best. It creates a very elegant dial. It's very classic looking, but there's a sportiness to it as well. So this is kind of, I don't know, it's hard to say. It's somewhere between a sports watch and a formal watch, um, but it's kind of none of the above at the same time. It's just very kind of distinct in the way it is. This model has a white lacquer dial with Roman numerals. Um, clean face, the steel version of this watch actually has a slightly different dial. It's not crazy different, but slightly different. I also very much like the use of the black hands. I think they stand out very well, um, and they're the right kind of polish to make them look good. So I think it's a very nice high, high contrast dial. Price for this watch is uh, expensive because this is a high-end brand. Um, so some people have had, I guess you could call sticker shock at some of these prices, but it's actually not not from my perspective as someone that knows a lot of prices um, too outrageous. Um, this model in gold is obviously going to be more expensive and this is uh, $25,100 for this 18 karat gold model, obviously less for the steel ones. Again, this is the Ralph Lauren stirrup uh, large chronograph. I think I mentioned the size is about 37 millimeters wide. Um, it feels bigger on the wrist because it's high. Anyways, you can see the full review on a blog to read.com. Thanks.